Father, Son, Holy Spirit, come now and give us peace in this day, this week, this year of difficulty and struggle. Holy Spirit, come and be with us. Fill us. Keep us. Be with us. Welcome, guys. My name is Ryan. Thank you for stopping by. Welcome to Grace Ministries USA, where we put up a daily devotional discussing God's word and the impact it can have on your life, discussing how to apply it to our lives in 2023, this book that was written thousands of years ago. How do we use it today to help us feel better, think more clearly, and be confident in our decisions that we are making. How we do that is by getting in God's word, y'all. Today's devotional. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Whoo! All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. That's fire. That is fire, y'all. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Do you see? The light shines in the darkness that we experience, and the darkness has not overcome it. We will be victorious. We will see the light. We will overcome and win. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his glory, the father's glory, glory as of the only son from the father, full of grace and truth. That's what we see. John 1, 1 through 5, 14. As we enter this Christmas season, we will be inundated with advertisements, songs, stress, pressure, confusion, all these decorations and festive attitudes, and that's all wonderful. It's often easy to forget why we actually celebrate Christmas, though, and the meaning behind it, the true meaning of what Christmas means. It's easy to have it come every year and blow right past us. We are often told in churches to remember the reason for the season and remember a child in a manger born of humble origins to a virgin named Mary. We get all that. It's It hits us every year. Repetitive. It's exhausting. However, it is so much more than that. It's so much more than that image. So much more than wise men and shepherds in the night. More than the nativity scene that we put up each Christmas. It is about how the Word became flesh. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. John is unique in the four Gospels as his Gospel is the only one that does not recount the birth of Jesus. Rather, we are given a prologue that starts with the phrase, In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. Here we could say that we are given a sort of narrative beyond that of the story of many of us are familiar with. John gives us the story of God becoming a man and the grandeur of that act. How powerful and mighty the word, the one responsible for the creation of the world, the one who is the very life and light of all that is in the world, including you, me, and everything we see from here to eternity. The one who shines into the darkness of this world. And the darkness flees. 
we win. The one who is full of grace and mercy and who holds the stars in place. This God is what I'm talking about. This God, this same God came and dwelt among men. This God came into this earth so that we may see his glory and so that he may eventually die for the sins of the world. For the sins of the world. This is not a weak, pathetic God. Nah, he is so powerful, so mighty, so strong, yet he saw fit to become a child, the most humble and helpless among humanity, the most helpless, who then grew up to be put to death on a cross for a world that rejected him. He died for us, for our sins. This is the word who was in the beginning, was with God, and who was God, y'all. This Christmas season, we got to get this as we reflect on things like family, joy, and giving. Let us also consider the ultimate gift given to mankind. The gift of the word becoming flesh and dwelling amongst us tell people about jesus ask them if they know him and if not it is our job it is our mission it is god's will for our life to tell them that is my prayer for you as you go about this week i pray god that as we go about our week father that we lean in and understand what it means to have a God in heaven who came to earth as one of us to die for our sins, to really wrap our minds around what that actually means. How much love and care and consideration is in that fact that he came back as one of us and paid for our sins i pray that you get this this week i pray that you don't live 40 plus years and never grasp that and tell something tragic or drastic that has to shake you out of your stupor back into the path that you should have been on i pray that you get this before that happens so you don't have to experience that. I pray that you understand what God is doing and that you allow him to do it by leaning in to him and what he has for your lives. In the name of Jesus, the name above all names, King of King, Lord of Lords, the only one true God, my God, Jesus Christ, my heavenly father. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope you have a good week. I hope you get something out of the devotionals. If we add value to your life, guys, please give us a thumbs up, a subscribe, help us grow the channel. We're out here trying to reach people in the name of Jesus, and we can't do it against these algorithms that are set to destroy us. We need help. Let's fight back by getting these videos out there to tell people about Jesus. God bless you. I thank you. I could have started a channel about anything, anything, but I wanted to do it for God. My life is not about me. Your life is not about you. It's about what we do while we're here for others through us. Jesus wants to pour into us so we can 
pour into others. He wants to use us to pour resources through. But the only way to do that is to get in line with God by living for his will, his purposes, the Ten Commandments, accepting him in as your personal Lord and Savior and allowing him to go to work in your life. Otherwise, it's not it. I pray this as you go about your week. Thank you for stopping by. God bless you. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. A great Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching.